Hi, and welcome to Population Ecology, lesson number four, project introduction. My name is Laura McGinty. I teach biology up at Ballard High School, and I will be guiding you through this process of understanding. The question that you're gonna be answering for this project is, which recommendations from the ORCA task force will protect ORCA populations in the future? You have four goals after reviewing this PowerPoint. Identify the goals in the ORCA task force recommendations. Identify supporting recommendations within the goals. Interpret the requirements on the ORCA project rubric. And then choose a goal and supporting recommendation that you would like to focus for your project. First, we'll look at the ORCA task force recommendations. To interpret the goals and recommendations when you look at this, you're going to see a few things. Number one, you're going to look at the goal itself. You'll have the goal number here, and there are a few of them, so take a look and make sure that you identify the number. There will also be a brief explanation of that goal. In this particular case, this is goal one, to increase Chinook abundance. Beneath each goal, there will be a set of recommendations. There will be a recommendation number, and then a brief explanation of that recommendation. This explanation falls under goal one. This recommendation says to significantly increase investment in restoration and acquisition of habitat in areas where Chinook stocks most benefit southern resident orcas. Beneath that, you will find in colored writing whether the ORCA task force supports it and to what level they support it. At this point, we'll take a look at the rubric requirements. Your final product will contain a goal and a recommendation and explains why this particular goal and recommendation are important. It presents a scientific argument to a stakeholder based on the goal and recommendation you've chosen. It also uses quantitative or numeric data to support and connect argument to goal and recommendation. It will also predict how that goal and recommendation will support Puget Sound biodiversity. Furthermore, the final product will list and explain scientific concepts that support the goal and recommendation. It also prescribes a change to the recommendation that offsets the negative impacts of human activity and explains how the revision supports biodiversity. Finally, the product can be in any format that you choose. This can be a PowerPoint, infographic, open letter to a stakeholder, sway, podcast, video commercial, anything that you can think of. It will use MLA format to cite the sources, and it will include a bibliography. When you plan for the unit project, first thing you need to do is review the ORCA project rubric in a little bit more detail. You'll also want to take a closer look at the Recovery Task Force recommendations. What are the goals suggested by the ORCA Task Force? Choose a goal that you find interesting and read it more closely. What are the supporting recommendations for those goals? Then, if you have any questions, ask your teacher about the document. Finally, choose a goal and recommendation that you would like to further study. Reach out to a peer in your class if you're able to to see if they would like to partner on the project. Create a timeline that will help you manage your time with the project. Remember though, health and family always come first. And identify what tools and resources you'll need, materials for research and planning, what platform you would like to use, collaboration tools that you might use, digital or offline planning tools, paper, pen, notebook, OneNote, etc., uh, or any other tools that you can think of that will help you in this project planning. Finally, check for your understanding. You need to identify the goals in the ORCA task force recommendations, the supporting recommendations within those goals, interpret the requirements of the rubric, and then choose a goal and supporting recommendation that you would like to focus on for your project. For your next step, make an entry in your learning tracking tool titled for Project Introduction. Thank you so much for your time and have a beautiful day.